Hi, my name is Elizabeth. Today I'm joined by physical therapy technology students Cassie and Alex, and we're going to show you some active range of motion exercises. The first thing we're going to do today is ankle pumps. So you're going to flex and extend your ankles. You're going to do it 10 times. How does this help? really gets all the muscles starting to fire up. So whether you have a lower back injury anywhere down, you really want to start from the bottom up to get those muscles working. So it's easier the higher you go. What should we do next? Next, we're going to do um, heel slides. So you're going to lift the leg up, slide the heel, and then back down. You're going to do that 10 times. Make sure you're counting out loud to make sure you're breathing. Okay. And is it important to do the same exercise on both sides of the body? Absolutely. Um, just because one side is injured doesn't mean you don't want to do it on the opposite side because you're going to lose that muscle. And is this something you could do, say, in the morning when you wake up? Absolutely. Best time to do any of these is in the morning when you wake up because your muscles are stiff and sore from your 8, 10 hours of sleep and the older you get, the more sore you are in the morning. So doing them in the morning at night are definitely best options. Great. Next one is going to be abduction, adduction of the hip. So you're going to keep your legs straight, heel flexed. You're going to bring it out as far as you can and then back in. So Cassie, tell me who should be doing these exercises. If you're having any lower back, hip, knee, or ankle issues or injuries, past injuries even, all it's going to do is help get the circulation going and really help you strengthen your muscles so you can do your active daily living. Next, we're going to be doing the long arc quads. So you're going to start off with flexing your foot. You're going to bring it out straight in front of you and then back down. Nice and easy fluid movements. Um, really just going to be firing the muscles, increasing the circulation throughout your whole leg. How do these exercises apply in a hospital setting? They apply in a hospital setting, especially if you've had like a hip, knee, ankle surgery. Um, after the first 24 hours, I'd say, they start coming in and your physical therapy, physical therapy assistants and techs will be coming in and helping you get things moving so not everything's so stiff and they can get you out of there faster. So you're back in your active day, daily living, which is what you want to be doing. You want to be able to walk and stand up and sit down by yourself without being in pain. Up. And that is how you do active range of motion exercises. 